What's up guys, V here. And in today's video, I wanna show you how I got this MSI look, or as close to it, on my Corsair K60 keyboard. So I got both of these products around the same time, I wanna say, and I was kinda disappointed that the Corsair didn't offer a RGB effect like you see on this MSI keyboard. I really like that effect, I think it looks pretty cool. I think it's called Raindrop or something like that. And unfortunately, Corsair did not have anything like that. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can get this MSI effect on your Corsair keyboard. Also, this video is gonna serve as an overall tutorial on how you can mess with IQ software, Corsair software. That way, you can have a pretty good idea of the things you can do within IQ. So let's get started. So here in IQ, you're gonna go ahead and click on the Corsair device that's plugged in. As you can see, this is my K60 RGB Pro keyboard. So I'm gonna click on that, and then we're gonna go to lighting effects. Now here, under lighting effects, you can see all of the effects that I currently have on my keyboard. Now, one thing I didn't mention, I added a layer on top of this effect on my Corsair keyboard. So anytime I click something, as you can see, it, it kind of ripples. So let's go ahead and show you how I got this effect and at the same time teach you what you can do within IQ with Corsair devices. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete all of these effects just so we can start from scratch. Now, what you're gonna wanna do here is click this plus symbol right next to lighting effects and that adds your first effect. This will show you what this effect does. You can go through all the different effects right here. Rainbow wave, that's like a side to side. You can switch the direction if you want. So anyways, there's tons of effects in here. You can go ahead and go through them and see what, what all they do. So first one that I'm going to add is spiral rainbow. Now you see there's two ways that you can do it. So we're gonna leave it on clockwise for this one. And you can also change the speed from slow, medium, or fast. So if you click outside of the keyboard, now they're all unchecked. What you're gonna wanna do is click on the control button and select several keys that you might want to be this color at the same time. And when you start seeing that there, there's too many that are the same color, remove some and change them to a different location. So for this effect, we're just gonna select those. We're gonna turn the speed up to fast, leave it on clockwise, and now we can add our second effect. This effect will also be spiral rainbow, fast, but we're gonna change it to counterclockwise so it doesn't mesh with the other effect. So now, same thing, go ahead and just select, press control, on your keyboard, press and hold it while you're clicking on these. So just select uh, several of them. And if you click up here on this, on these little three lines, a little menu will pop up. So you can click on this view only selected effect and you can see your effect. So again, right here, we have too many of the same color. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually change that just a bit. And now you can see it kind of coming together. Next effect, let's go ahead and add another one. We're gonna go ahead and add rainbow wave. We'll leave it right and we will turn it to fast. Now this one goes from left, it starts on the left to the right. So you don't wanna go like too many in the same row because they will all change at the same time. Now you can see them changing different colors at, at different times. So that's good, add another one. We're gonna also add another rainbow wave. This one's also gonna be fast, but this is where we change the direction. So now we're gonna go left, just so they're different colors at different times. So click outside of the keyboard, again, press and hold control, and now start selecting all your different keys that you want to be that color, or that effect, I should say. So I think that's good there. Now these next ones are the interesting ones. These are my favorites. So we're gonna add another effect and we're gonna do watercolor. So watercolor, as you can see, it's white background and then random colors kinda just come through and 
in random spots. And the reason this is my favorite is because this really sells the effect. Now, if we add just this, it's not gonna sell the effect, but because we added all of these on this side, all the rainbow waves and the color shift, there's so many different effects, it kind of gives it that random look. So what you're gonna do here is select really nice vivid colors, your favorite colors. Don't be shy with this. I'm gonna select that blue right there. I really like that blue. That's not too bad. And you can see there they turn blue and then random colors, which is really cool. And I think that's good. Let's go ahead and add one more watercolor. Actually, we're gonna add, I believe, four total watercolors. And the reason we're doing this is because we want all different colors, like I said. So select really nice, bright, vivid colors. Do the same thing over and over until all of the buttons are selected. Keep in mind, the, this is something you can definitely do on other devices, not just keyboards. You can do things like this on Corsairs, fans, and other RGBs. As long as it allows you to select RGBs individually, you can do it. So that's the beauty of Corsair and their IQ software. So now that we got all those done, I'm gonna go ahead and show you each individual one that I did. So there you can see the spiral rainbow. There you can see the uh, the second spiral rainbow, as you can see counterclockwise on that one, clockwise on that one, left on the rainbow wave right there, and you can see how many I selected. If you wanna copy mine to the T, that's up to you. Just match the settings and you're good to go. So there's this one, rainbow wave going up, rainbow wave going right. This one I kept that medium just to kinda of give it a different effect, I guess. And here's the color shift that I selected. I, I ended up going in and changing up a lot of them and just kind of making it as nice as I possibly could. Like I said, you click here and you can see the whole effect or just the effect you have selected. Here's my watercolor with the blue, watercolor with the pink, another pink but a lighter pink. Here's the mint green. And of course, this is the last one. You add the type lighting and like I said, that's that effect right there. And you put that all the way at the top. So let's say you didn't have that and you got all of this done so far, you would add it, make sure it's at the top, select type lighting. Let's view all the effects together. And basically that puts it over the whole thing. So at this point, your effect stays like this when it's not being touched. As soon as you start messing with the keyboard, you have a ripple effect, which then turns back into your normal effect. Now, if you never wanna lose this setup, what you're gonna do is go here where it says profiles, click on these little three bars, import, export, you're gonna to wanna to click on export down here. You can leave it on default or whatever, click export, give it a name and click save. And now anytime you might have to delete it or whatever, at least you have this, save it to you know a cloud storage or something. And then whenever you wanna import it, you would click on import, find the file wherever it is and click open. And that'll automatically bring up your effect and all your different uh, actions and everything else. There's a lot you can do in, in IQ. This was a tutorial on the RGBs since that seems to be kind of the most, diff I don't wanna call it a difficult part, but it's it's the most complicated part, I, I would think personally. And I'm glad I could share this with you guys. So if you found this video helpful, the best way to support this channel is giving it a huge thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content like this, feel free to subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. I wanna thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.